A lot of you guys are squatting like this because you want to see your squat go up. But you don't want to see your squat go up. You want to see your vertical go up. So quit training to see your squat go up and start training to see your vertical go up. Here's how some of you guys are squatting. So the common theme to all those is you know, there's a power lifting stance. All those stances aren't the joint angles you're using when you jump. And as we teach you in jumpworkbook.com, you need to train your body specific sweet spot. Not a power lifting squat, uh, not an Olympic lifting squat. And that specific angle, you need to get stronger specifically at the point where you um, reverse the direction because that's the point where, where you'll have a breakdown and where you can create velocity. So when you're going down, let me show you specifically um, using a front squat how to target a jumping angle. Um, and, and again, we go through this very specifically in jumpworkbook.com. After this, I'm going to show you something to add every time to your to your to your training. Now watch how my joint angles are very different in this movement. So you'll notice um, the angles that happen in my squat are the exact same angles that I jump at to dunk, that I jump at to get high in my vertical. So how much more specific to the movement is when, that, when I get stronger at that, I guarantee you I'm jumping higher every time. When you get stronger at this, you ain't getting stronger at jumping. Maybe some carry over, maybe some carry over, but not the same thing as targeting the exact same movement pattern and targeting specifically your explosiveness when you reverse directions. It's not happening. And let me show you what to do again. Now we're training strength here, right? And depending on the weight and if you're using the master class, we're using bands to target your central nervous system even more explosively. But you need to always be telling yourself, I'm doing this to jump higher. I'm not doing this to become a weightlifter, to lift more weight. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to float, to fly, to throw down, not to lift heavier weight. I get so many people, you know, they got their workout journals and forums. I gained this so much and then, and then after they do a strength phase, they get done and they're like, certainly gained a lot of weight on my squat, but now I need to do a quickness phase or something. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. I know some of you are gonna disagree with me, that's fine. Just stop doing that. So I'm gonna show you, you saw the difference between the squat I did, and you don't have to have weight to do this, by the way. There's a way to do this without a weight room. Um, if, you're, if you're using jumpworkbook.com, the free workbook will show you how to do it. Now let me show you what to do after every other set. Um, I'm not going to do the full movement, but I'm going to start telling my body, hey, we're not just doing this to lift weight. So. so 
So again, keep in mind that those those the positions is the same as the squat. The same the same jump angles as the squat is the same drop. Now I haven't been training in a while, so I didn't do the full movement. The full movement would be drop, perfect landing in your jump position, and then explode. And importantly, to reach for something, a goal. And then you'd always be reaching for that maximum goal instead of just going through the motions. Here I was just dropping, I'm getting myself used to amortizing the weight, uh, and then I'll change that to a movement of dropping and jumping. So, uh, yeah guys. Um, that, that's why you're always telling your body, hey, we're getting stronger to become more explosive. We're not getting stronger to move some weight on our back, you know. Um, so anyways, I hope that helps some of you guys. Um, stop doing weird squats that give you a false sense of progress. Start training your body's specific sweet spot. And start doing this or other plyometric movements related to your sport specific movement every time. So that's what you need to be doing. Uh, and as for the guys who are getting stronger and stronger and stronger, but not moving any more explosively, if you don't, you, your body, you, your body believes what you know reacts to exactly what you're doing. I remember when I got my you know deadlift above 550, and it was you know, and I was I was squatting most more. I, I was doing heavy weights on everything. I'm like, hey. Didn't know the, you know, isn't this supposed to be how you jump higher? Uh, but being stronger doesn't mean jumping higher. Not always. There is a prerequisite, but, and it has to be so specific, very sport specific strength and uh, movement patterns. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna chill with y'all for a little bit. And uh, actually, I don't know if I am. I'm excited to be back in the gym a little bit. Yo, 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 Lewis, what's up, bro? How's your training going, man? I won't hang up yet if you got a question, bro. Man, it's fun to go in the gym. Be 37. I'm 37 years old. Well, Lewis, the more you can tell about me, uh, the more I can help you. But I'll tell you this. Um, you you want to be increasing in strength. You want to be increasing in quickness. And you want to be increasing in your technique. AKA your sport specific movement matters. All those three, there's, there's six other things, there's nine total you can do, but those three, make sure you're doing them every week. And so as far as whether you need heavy weight or not, can you do a pistol squat? Can you do a single leg squat? Can you do this? If you can't do that, then you don't need weight necessarily because you're overloading your muscles with higher tension. So you need to be continuing to put to, to put resistance on your body that you can only barely overcome. If you can do it 10 times or more, your body's like, whatever, we don't need to adapt to that, whatever. But if your body's like, oh shoot, it's the heart, then your body's gonna adapt to it and you're gonna start getting stronger, especially if your nutrition's on. So. Um, you don't need weight necessarily. Well, if you can't do that already, then do this. You can... Or do versions of that, man. So until you can do it or go down and then help yourself up like this. So, I mean, I'll tell you what, uh, Luis, Luis missed a comeback. As soon as you can do those more easily, AKA as soon as you can increase your relative strength, Right now, your one leg is telling you, hold up, my body's too heavy. So if, you're, if your legs are telling you, wait a minute, this is easy, my body's light. Well, guess what? You can throw your body in the air further and more explosively. Right now, when you do that on one leg, your, your one leg is like, Whoo, 
This is hard. But your two legs are like, man, you're still heavy. I can walk, but you're still heavy. So when you become light on your feet, when your legs think that your body's light, now you become explosive. Now you become agile. Moving side to side becomes easier. Everything becomes easier. So that's what you need to be doing. This is called relative strength. You know, it's how strong your legs are in relativity to your body weight. Body weight squats to pistol squats. I mean, if you got access to weights, you can, but that squat bar ain't magic. See that thing? It's not a magic wand. All it does is put resistance on your body. There's other ways to do it. That's the name of the game. Resistance, movement patterns, mobility. Yeah, so I don't know what your weight is, Luis. How much you weigh, how tall you are, what body fat percentage you are, but if you're overweight, you've got a high, high body fat percentage. It means you got weight on you that's just weighing you down. So you got a belly, you got a belly or a back. It means like you got a sandbag on your back and you're trying to move quickly, explosively. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No. Which body weight squats work? They only stop working when it's too easy. Just like that bar all by itself wouldn't do anything for me. If I just go up and down, up and down, it'd be like a walk in the park and a walk in the park doesn't make you a sprinter. 208, six feet, mm hmm Well, I reckon you're either jacked or almost chubby. So, uh, we have a program called Lean Power Protocol. It's an intermittent fasting program. My take on it, and my take is usually, you know, a simplified way that everybody can do, you know. I'm not gonna have you count your macros all that i'm gonna have you doing it simply but getting lean so almost chubby all right okay i'm not on that man but uh as far as your legs are concerned you lose that fat you're also going to be you know you're also going to be the same i mean you're going to get stronger your legs are like hey Either got to get stronger or homeboy's got to get less chubby. So either way, either way, man. But, you know. Let me know, Luis. I see you've named yourself Luis Comeback. So I assume um, that you're making a comeback, bro. So you've come to the right place. Stay tuned. Keep us updated on, on what's working, what's not, what you're doing. We'll keep you in line. Uh, the Jump Manual fam will keep you... Uh, Hang with these guys who've been around for a while, who've gotten awesome results, man, and, uh, and come to our live videos. So guys, please like or share this video if you like the content. Um, if you have questions that you wanna hear me address, let me know, put them on here. I'll give you my take, and uh, yeah. Hi, Robert. I think I'm gonna let you guys go. How much should I weigh? How much should you weigh? Well, I mean, I can't really tell you how much you weigh because your bone structures, your muscle mass, I don't know that. But you can go to one of these, your gym should have one of these electronic body fat percentage things. And, you know, shoot for under 10 to start with. I mean, it's great to be eight, seven, but um, lunchtime, baby, okay. Yeah, so see what your body fat percentage is, and, and that'll give you an idea of what, what you want to get it down to. You know, well, me, I can't. I'm always trying to gain weight because I lose it so easily. Yeah, man, let's get that down to 10. Lewis, man. Lewis, bro. Follow the Lean Power Protocol. If you have the jump manual, get in there, listen to it. I simplify it very easily for you. It's all about nutrient timing. You can practically eat the same stuff you're eating now at different times of the day and start shedding fat like crazy. You cut out some noodles, you cut out some bread, you cut out some rice, and you're gonna be cutting fat like crazy. But you keep the timing right, like I show you in Lean Power Protocol, and you're gonna continue 
uh, to have a good a good response to your weight training. And so you're going to be you know you're going to be producing testosterone. You're going to be producing growth hormone. So. So yeah. Oh well, boys. I don't even know if. I, whatever. I haven't been to one of these gyms in a while. It's always kind of a trip. You know what I wish about American gyms is that they had a little bit more of a community area, maybe a restaurant, maybe some fruit to eat. The gym I had in Cape Town, they'd shine your shoes while you're training and, and iron your clothes. It's nice. Some fruit. They had fruit and day beds. It's pretty posh. Okay, Lewis, keep me updated. Robert, fellas. So the message today, don't do squats that don't have anything to do with your sport specific movement. I mean, unless you're doing them for mobility or unless you're doing something because you, you have muscle imbalances, which that's fine too, but just know when you're working on your sport specific strength and your sport specific movement, you need to be training those joint angles, those specific movement patterns, and always telling your body, hey, even though we're getting stronger and training you know, a, a central nervous system pattern here, we training for this sport specific movement at high speeds. Not to become a power lifter, not to move heavy weight, not to get big thighs, not to get any of that. To be a bowler and a shot caller. So anyways guys, I will uh, talk to you guys later. See you Luis, come back.